Hi traders, it's Bruce Banks here and we're going to talk about a subject that is talked about ad nauseum because it is extremely important in trading and that's support and resistance. We're not going to go into support and resistance with multi time frame confluence or support and resistance in some of the more advanced strategies. We just want to break down exactly what is support and resistance because you're going to hear this constantly when traders are talking about uh, new lows being made or new highs being made or previous levels being retested. So we've got to go into the essence of uh, support and resistance. So we're just going to open up a daily chart here of crude oil. Now we're going to highlight two points on this. One is going to be the high that we see here in the last previous few months. Oops. So our high is on this bar right here. And we're going to see the next time that high was retested. And we'll go into a little bit more on some of the other times. So first we have to look at the left-hand side here. This high that we see in the last few months. Why is this significant? Well, that's as high as the market was able to push it. And when we actually think about that as a whole subject, that is the total agreement of buyers and sellers. There's buyers trying to push the market up, there's sellers trying to push the market down. We have to understand that during all of the disagreements on price and eventual agreements on price where you know buys are made and sells are made, that this is as high as the market was able to reach within, and we're looking at a daily chart here, within a one day period. That is extremely important. So when we look over to the next circle here, and we see that the market again, you know, was trying to push up towards uh, possibly making a new high because the buyers want to push the market up, that the exact same buyers or sellers are often in the market at this point. We know that a previous precedent was set on this prior bar, and that's the essence of support and resistance its prior precedents being set. That's similarly why when a market's pushing a new high, it's often hard to reach the new high. We'll go into that later. So we're just looking at this right now. We see that the market made a high here, an intraday high as well. You can see with the wick of the candlestick here, it was an intraday high. Didn't open, didn't close there. And we made another attempt up to make it up to that high. Now that is resistance in the market. That is the definition of resistance. You're seeing a previous high reached that the market is making an attempt at but is unable to break through. That is resistance. There's resistance because people can look back on this exact chart, um, however many days ago that was, and see that this level was reached but it was not able to push through it. So you're also going to see a lot of things where traders are placing stops. We'll go into that into another video. This is the definition of resistance in this market because the high was made and another attempt was made. Another key thing to look at for support and resistance is where the market closed. So if we draw another line here where the high was made on the one back here, on this um, down bar, this was the open. So it, it opened here and, it, and eventually it pushed up throughout the day. We could peel into that day and take a look. We're not going to right now. It pushed up at some point during the day and ended up closing down. So what we're looking at here, and you can see there was a little bit more of a rally here because the market actually ended up closing above the high that was made here, the close high here. So that is quite significant. But there just wasn't the same amount of volume of buyers to push the market up to a new high. So we really have to pay attention to that when someone mentions support and resistance. The fact that this is what support and resistance is. We have to be looking at these previous levels that were reached in order to you know, see if they're able to be broken again. And if they are able to be broken again, you know that there is more buyers in the market pushing up through that resistance. The exact same thing goes for support as well. And we can take a look on this exact same chart. So what we see here 
is, I'll just highlight this. So we see this area and we see similar this area where the mark was able to push down. So right here we have a low made and then a short push up with another low made and another or yeah, a new lower low was made and then another attempted low. It's very similar. I mean, we're talking so close here, especially on a daily chart. You can essentially consider these all to be the same, especially since none of them were close as low. These were just the wicks. So this is as far as the mark was able to be pushed down within that one day period since we're on the daily chart. Now we look over here and we see that the market made one, two attempts and was pushed back up. And then there was a lot of buying or uh, sorry, there was a lot of selling pressure in here and they were able to push down through these lows. Now, why on this particular time was the market able to push down through these lows? What's the difference between the example um, of pushing high and the example here of pushing low? Well, there's one thing that is so critical that happened that made a lot of the buyers lose faith in the market between these first two sets of uh, highs and the second two sets of pushes low is the fact that the first set happened first. So the market made a new high, it attempted that high again, and it failed. That, that failure to push through the resistance in the market is so critical. So when the market made a new low, there is just a little bit more faith that the, the sellers have more strength, you could say, in the market. So the buyers push the market back up. Um, you can see right here. They push the market back up, but their attempt is a little bit weak. You know, we can see their, all, their highs for this are well below all of the closes for the previous two attempts high. The buyers just don't have the strength in the market here. So when the market gets pushed back down, they push through this level of resistance or this level of support in the market on the low end and are able to push the market down further. And what this does is cause a lack of faith in the uh, buyers in the market. The sellers are in control in this point. So we can see if we just put the on the the push low here on the week on the wicks. We can see that when the market is able to actually push through it, it rockets down. That, that's another subject with um, stop losses and everything. So we'll we'll just stick to simple support and resistance here, and then we'll also mark off where the uh, the closes and opens ended up being. And you can see um, we got actually um, this is why it's so key to mark these levels because you can look and see how close these levels are. So you have a push down in the market, you have a close here low and then it pushes down throughout that day as well but it closes right here and that close is exactly the same as the close on this second push down in the market where it was eventually able to push through so we have to look at support and resistance as key levels like I said these levels can translate into lower time frames as well but um, this method can work on any time frame that you choose Gen the general rule is that the higher the time frame, the more significant these levels are. So you know, you know, if you're dealing on a five minute chart, yes, there might be support and resistance, but the traders on the higher time frames are generally going to have a little bit more sway in that regard. We'll just look at a 60 minute chart here. So we see another example of support and resistance on the left hand side here. Well, there's countless, <laughs> countless areas of support and resistance, but we'll focus on this one. So we, we see here, come on, there we go. What we see here is we see a push high and then our second attempt at that high. Uh, we can pull in a little bit more data from the fact, or a little bit more information from the fact that, you know, we see a hard push up here and a hard push down by the bulls. You can see in these two one hour candlesticks, there's a lot of, um, a lot of space being covered. We know for here, we see that this is the push high. We'll mark off this level right here. This is as high as the mark got that day um, and ended up opening or 
This is as high as the market got that hour, and in, in fact that day. So that's as high as the buyers are able to push the market up. We will look over here and we see that the market, the buyers exhausted a lot of their buying power just pushing the market all up this day. So by the time, their goal is basically, you can think of it as to break this previous level right here. That's their main goal. They want to break circle one. They want to break that um, high and then push the market even higher. Now with all of their buying during the day, they were unable to even reach that level. So the amount of faith that these traders have in the fact that they're going to be able to break the next day starts to wane. It starts to go down. And you'll, then you'll see a sharp drop off after that in the market. This also could have been partially due to um, in, uh, a news announcement or many other things. But as technical traders, we're not paying attention to the news as much. You know, we're looking for announcements and important things, but in the end, we're looking at the technical signals, and these are the bare technical signals that you need to be looking at in order to really understand support and resistance. So when you see a high being made like this, you want to pay attention to that because that could end up being resistance in the market for when the move goes up. All of this works exactly the same inversely for um, support levels as well. We can take and mark off the first it pushed here low, and we got another low here, um, one, two days. We know from seeing the fact that the high was made here, they were able to push it quite a bit lower because we're coming out of the area back here. Let's mark this off. We're coming out of this area where you know the price is in rough agreement. You know, there's a bit up, there's a bit down. The Buyers are trying to buy it up and then force the price up and the sellers are trying to push it down in here and they push the market up. But you know they made the high and then the, uh, the sellers start to come in and they push the market down. And this is as low as they were able to make it. So again, roles are only switching in um, trading. So you know the, the buyers are in control, the sellers are in control and the market's always moving up and down. So the sellers get back in control and their whole goal you know, they made this first breakout out of this box area. They made that breakout and they want to make the second breakout and make a new higher high, but they aren't quite able to do it. So all of the faith in all of the sellers starts, or all the faith in all of the buyers starts to wane. So the market ends up being forced right back down. And you can see this when it reaches this level, they're able to break it honestly quite easily. And so you end up getting a new lower low. So the faith in the buyers is dwindled even further. Now, like I said, this support and resistance method and understanding support and resistance can work in a multitude of ways. You can apply these analyses from the higher time frames to the lower time frames, looking for similar areas where you might get support and resistance. Or you can simply take this as a strategy and then wait for higher highs and higher lows, something that I've talked in depth on in certain courses. But however you use it, this is something that you, I believe, should pay attention to in order to understand support and resistance in the market and exactly what causes it and what might come of that support and resistance when the market makes attempts at new lows or new highs.